in terms of number of fights, Alus Pare Pare Hulag, no? And we are underway with this eliminator. We shall try to explain uh, why it's an eliminator as we sail along. Um, the winner here will move forward, Kinito. That's right. Uh, number three contender, Citrian Francisco, and WBA number two, Naman, si Ricardo Duñez, Cochino Manalo Dito, will be the mandatory challenger of the winner of the Nobuo Nashiro versus Hugo Casares fight for the WBA Super Flyweight Championship. That fight will be held in Osaka on May 8th. So this is, this is one step away for a world championship shot for the winner. Let's get uh, Mike uh, to us his impressions of this fight. What do we look forward to aside from the fact the uh, matters of consequence you mentioned earlier? Well, first of all, the fight is being held here in the Philippines. No? Okay. So therefore, Drian does have that advantage fighting hometown. No? Uh, in front of his Cababayas. In fact, dami natin batanggay niyo dito. Oh, oh, oh. Now, this guy, Nunez, is fighting out of Panama. But he is a very strong fighter. His numbers uh, tell us uh, 15 knockouts out of 17 wins. That's a very high knockout to win ratio. And that's why it's a very exciting fight because this is a test for Drian Francisco. His last two fights, he won handily, but there were questions on how he handled those fights. Nung huli laban niya, medyo hindi handa yung kalaban. Boom, masyado mabigat, mabagal. So napakabilis ni Drian. A power shot coming from Drian Francisco. Nunez didn't even see it. Nunez down for an eight count. Referee Bruce McTavish. First round knockdown score by Drian. Got it again! Got it again! And now Nunez is holding on. Oh! Francisco! And he's down once more. He's got the only. He's got the only. Francisco being told to stay in the neutral corner, second knockdown of this work out. And here we go. This is unbelievable. And Francisco now going for the kill. Nunez has been down twice. Malakas talaga sumutok eh. It's the power, the power of Drian Francisco showing itself very early in this fight. And rubbery leg, Simon Nunez. Yes, and his legs are very unsteady. I like your point about the Hindi Yalom Juanito to Mama's Oh! and Francisco is pulling it on. And Nunez is holding on to the left arm of Francisco. Now he holds, he embraces him. And the Canadian fans are looking at this corner at this point. We won't even finish with discussing about what they were going to bring into this ring, but right now Francisco is dominating against the Panamanian. This is unbelievable. Remember, Nunez is not a taxi opponent. He's ranked number one by the WBC. And undefeated. Mason Talo? Okay. Puro knockdown yung panalo niya. Halos. Isang unanimous. Uh -huh. And more shots being landed here by Trian Francisco. Time the hard time before finishing him off right now. He is fighting a smaller opponent in terms of physique. But in the same weight category, the power in the hands of Francisco is clearly there. Francisco was determined. You could see in his eyes he wanted to end it in that first round. Francisco originally from um, Occidental Mindoro, but he's been adopted by the Batangueños. Oh, good luck, man. Now, one thing about this fight, Francisco cannot afford to get no, I don't think so. As you mentioned, Mike, he's got a nice knockout rate. But before the fight, Kirito, we talked about the speed factor, no? Yes. Uh, but right now, clearly, Drian has that. That, 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 that. The jab that he's flicking with that left hand, Nunez is, does not know where it's coming from. And I think mean, the power is just, uh, it's it's just such a factor so, bro. Oh, oh. in the strength. Even in an awkward situation, Francisco still lands something solid. But here's Nunez coming back. Yes, Nunez was speaking at his corner, looking for direction. And they're giving it to him in terms of instructions. Clock down to 1 and 33. Again, just to clarify, Nunez with 17 wins, 15 by a care, and he has one loss in his record. Well, Duran is making making Nunez look like a look, making this fight of Nunez like a debut fight, no? Parang, parang wala experience na si Nunez coming in, especially in that first round. Talagang pahataw na yung left hook na yun, eh, no? Talagang boom, tinamaan eh. Yun yung ano, yun yung 
point this in Rian Francisco in terms of how he throws his punches, but they are very effective. He has this way of connecting in an awkward position. Power talaga, no? Kanito. The advantage is clearly there in the power. Kung minsan raw power, mahirap talaga yung manage. But you can see that between uh, these two fighters in terms of style, Nunez is a technician. And it's uh, Rian Francisco is more of a power puncher. Mas calculating eh. Yung Nunez na miyan, na nag-settle down na yung laban ng konta yan. No? And, and you see the moves of Francisco are not really very scientific moves. I guess that's the reason why yes. uh, a, a lot of people say that he's very awkward. Exactly. Very unorthodox ang mga galaw. Adrian Francisco. There is a slight wilt under the right eye of Nunez, I guess from the left hand. It's still connecting to the side of his face. Final seconds of round number two already. We've had two knockdowns created by Francisco in the first round. And we pause for these messages. <laughs> Adrian Francisco. Well, Seb, we can even join them. Don't go to the mall. I'm going to be happy with you, Mama. Let's go to the mall. That's really it. You're going to ask your brother to come to the stage. Who are your brothers? Well, we're glad that they're around. Okay, in the meantime, uh, back to the fight then. It has settled down, uh, Kinito. The fight has uh, sort of set in a, li a little more solidly for you know, Nunez. The, the dangerous thing is, uh, I thought Nunez started to get his rhythm in the second round. Let's see what uh, Drian Francisco can do here. You don't want to give Nunez any opening, any kind of momentum to yeah. gain confidence. Yeah, unless we forget the numbers that he really brings in. Right. right. And Nunez is forced to hold on again. So that's a good sign for Francisco. He's very awkward and unpredictable, really, Drian. And you know, as you keep on watching his fights, you settle down and accept that kind of style. No? But if it's the first time you're going to watch Francisco, you'll say that he's, uh, he looks careless, he's awkward, but you know, he's effective. And that's the type of fight that he wants to bring into, into every match. Kasi kung minsan yung lakas ang hirap ni Turo, di, hindi mo rin maano yan eh. May dudugutin mo, gaya ng ganun. Because of his awkwardness, hindi mabasa ni matematiko kung saan nagagaling yung mga sagtok eh. Medyo yung mga angulo ang binabasa niya, hindi natama yung mga polynomial eh. Huh? Right now, this is a good uh, round for Francisco. He's established in his presence once more. Tsaka medyo cautious si Nunez bago siya pumasok. You can see from his head movements, he's not just darting in carelessly. And he paid for that dearly in the opening round. Ang bagal pumasok ng mga suntok ni Nunez, no? Um, there's a, like a split second delay as he cocks the, uh, the punches before he throws them. That when it lands, it looks like a slap punch, which really puts a question on the power that he has over the numbers. Sabi nga nila, it's 15 out of 17. But now that I'm watching him, I question the power in those, in those punches. Parang hindi as crisp as you as expected. No, uh, then, no? Well, at least we haven't seen it yet. Yes. Yung power niya. And Francisco trying to bore inside. Nunez staying there right with him. Nice left hand at work for the Jintong Kamau. Combination there. Ang ganda nung bitaw nung kaliwa ngayon, Adriano. He really worked on that jam. Final half minute. Round three. Adrian seems to be pacing. Pagod siya ng first round because binuwis sa lahat eh. Ano, Flory na. At saka, he's been gritting his teeth. I know there's a mouthpiece there, but he's been gritting his teeth. Huwag lang siya magigigil, ano? 